Hi, we're going to talk about the and demo the magazine cover for Foundation Digital Media. So first you'll, just a brief overview, is you're going to be creating a magazine cover and spine for an existing magazine, not a new one. The final size will be 8 and 3 eighths by 10 and 3 eighths with a 0.1875 wide spine. Why that weird number? It's because the magazine will be mounted and look like an actual magazine. It'll, it'll wrap around a piece of foam core. And since it has a thickness, that's the thickness of the spine of the foam core right there. So that's going to be your spine thickness. So what do you do? You um, um, first read through this whole project sheet. There, it tells you how to print. Um, and it gives you some design considerations as well as a schedule. Um, so let me just let me um, go through it. Pick a magazine that um, has some interest to you that you're familiar with. Look at a magazine's past covers. Um, look at the image cover closely. What makes it specific for that magazine? Like, do they put all their, if they're using models, to what type of background? A lot of times it's a neutral background or a single color or even a blend in the background. Um, look at the typefaces. Do you have something similar or close to it? And then look at the masthead, which is the logo of the magazine at the top. Um, is that something you can duplicate? Okay. Um, so what? And just a note: you can't use you cannot use Greek or lorem ipsum type. It has to be legible headlines on the cover. So you'll save five magazine covers in a folder. I've done that just so you can see. Whoops, that's not it. Here they are. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Some L magazines, good examples. And let's see. Um, yeah, let's run back to. Okay, and then you'll you'll sketch some um, layouts of the magazine cover and spine. Just thumbnails. They can be very simple. Remember, use um, like a scribbled line for a headline. And for um, for lines of type, you can just use a line. And then um, for like a model, you could do a circle for the head and then do a really simple shape for the figure. I prefer not um, stick figures. Just put some kind of a shape around it. It'd be pretty easy. Uh, a scribble for the headline again and for the lines underneath for the smaller text, just simple lines. Okay. Um, then we're going to start um, with our uh, with uh, with working in Photoshop. So we're going to make a file that's eight point five six two five by ten and three eighths. So what is that? That's eight and three eighths plus the spine because we got to add the spine on there. And remember, it must be at three hundred PPI or larger. If not, you're going to run into big problems and probably um, do a, do terrible on the assignment if the image is low res. So let's go into Photoshop. I'm going to go File New. Um, we're going to. This is going to be for pr for print for sure. But um, you could just come in here and put in your the numbers that were given. Eight point five six two five in. We're already working in inches. And then ten point three seven five. Make sure we get ten instead of just point three seven five. And then three hundred pixels resolution, which is important. We'll click Create. So here it is. Um, one of the first things we want to do is get our ruler up, which is Control or Command R. That'll toggle the ruler on and off. And then we want to zoom in close and get our um, spine area in. And we're going to move, we're going to, you can see at the edge of the page, at the little measurement, pop-up measurements at 0, 0. We're going to go over to 1.875. Oh, sorry, 0.1875 or one or 0.188. So, because this rounds to the thousandth, so this mark right here, 0.187, is perfect. And you can see everything over here is the, going to be the spine. Okay, next little bit is we're going to be researching covers. So, how do you get this cover? Well, um, let's say I want to do Emma Stone. I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Advanced Image Search. Um, in Google, 
right here. And I'm going to put in Emma Stone. Um, the size that I want. Now, that's a, that's a great question. Let's go into Photoshop and look at the size of this document. Um, if I click on these numbers in the bottom left, you can see that we're right about 2,600 pixels wide and 3,100 pix pixels tall. So that's what I'm looking for. So that translates to about a 10 megapixel image. My ratio, I want this tall. I don't want a wide image because this is a magazine. It's straight up and down. And I want any color because I've seen L, which is the magazine I'm going to do, use black and white images or full color. I'm going to click Advanced Search. And then I'll run through these images to try to find a good image of, um, of Emma Stone. And um, let's see, I kind of feel like this one would be fine. Does this meet our 2600 by 3100? Absolutely. So I'm going to get the image over here and choose Open Image in New Tab. Um, then um, I can take a look at it, and this one is actually too small. So sometimes um, I get fooled. I can click on the imager and try to find it, but like this should be a large one, 37 by 5,000. I'm going to open image in new tab and see where it comes out at. It's probably too small. So let me go find the image and then we can move forward. 